With your JADU2 connected, it's time to register the box and configure the system. To register your JADU2, just go online and go to www.jadutv.com forward slash register. Just complete the simple form by filling in the fields marked with an asterisk. First name, last name, and a valid email address. Then create a password. The next step is to complete the box ID using the information found on the back of the box your JADU came in. After that, simply click on the Create button and you will have registered your JADU2 and set up your My JADU account. You will receive a confirmation email at the address you provided. When you switch on, you will see this screen, followed by the loading screen. During this time, the system is booting up. When it's complete, you will see the home screen showing all the viewing categories. With the remote, simply navigate with the up-down buttons to your desired category and press OK. When you switch on the JADU2 and do not have a network connected, you will see this dialog box. Simply plug in either the Ethernet cable if you're using a wired connection or the USB wireless adapter if using your wireless network. Let's look at wired connection first. Once the cable is plugged in, you will see this dialog box. If you do not see this screen, or if you are using a wireless connection, you will need to use the network wizard. This can be found by going to the home screen, navigating to settings, and then selecting network. Then click on network wizard. You'll be prompted to choose the network type. Select wired if using a wired connection. The screen will change to the network status and the system will check the available network. In this case, the downlink speed was just over 13 megabits per second. The JADU needs a minimum of one megabit per second. Select done and click OK on the remote and you're ready to use the JADU2. If you're using a wireless network connection, from the home screen, again go to settings and then network. At this screen, navigate to your home network name and then click OK on the remote. You will need to enter the network's password. With the remote, navigate to each letter and click OK until the full password has been entered. Then navigate up to the OK button. With it selected, click OK on the remote. The system will again check the status of the network, checking the connection to the network, the internet and server, and then check the downlink speed. Again, as long as this exceeds one megabit per second, you will have successfully set up your network connection. You are now ready to enjoy a world of internet TV. Watch for more videos on getting the best out of your JADU 2.